Hey guys, welcome back to another week of North U Kids TV. I am so excited you came to join us this week. Let's get up and let's get loose. And let's get ready to worship together. It has been a while. Yeah. How are you? Not so good. Not so good? No. Why? Well, see my fishbowl? I, I do see your fishbowl. Do you see anything in the fishbowl? There's nothing in the fishbowl. No. Why? There used to be. <gasps> there used to be? Uh-huh. Was, was, was it a fish? Good guess, Maddie. It was a fish. His name was Splasher. Splasher? And yeah, he was my little fish, and I fed him, and I cleaned his bowl. But one morning, I got up, and guess what? What? He had jumped out of the bowl at nighttime, and he was dead. Dead? Dead. He was just... Where was Just he going? They're not splashing. Yeah, not nope. splashing at all. Very sad. That I is had very a little sad. cry. You had a little cry. A big cry, a actually. A big cry. Yeah, because he was dead. It was sad. That is sad. Mm -hmm. I understand why you would have a little cry or a big cry. That's yeah. something sad. When you things loved die, your friend. Yeah. When things die, sometimes we cry. Uh, definitely. Okay. I've ha I've had some cries before. Yeah. Yeah. You know what? I heard that Jesus had a little cry one time. He did. His friend Lazarus had died. Yeah. And Jesus had a little cry too. I know. He was sad, huh? He was sad. But, but you know what? What? Jesus has power over death. He does. He does. And what Jesus did was he brought Lazarus back to life. Wow. And Lazarus was already dead for three days. Three days? Yep. And Jesus brought him back to life? He did. Wow. That is amazing. Amazing. Yeah, but very cool that Jesus has power over death. Isn't uh, that so cool? Yeah, I like that a yeah. lot. Do you think you would ever get a new fish? Well, funny you should ask. I uh, just ordered one from Amazon. Oh, I think it's here. <gasps> oh, it yeah, is here. Fast. Yeah. What? Yeah. Wait. Well, how is 
Yeah? They're a fish in yeah? here. Yeah, a fish from Amazon. Mm-hmm. Go ahead. Get it. Open it up. It was a real uh, fish. I know, right? <laughs> no, it's just a pretend fish. Do you want just to put it look. in my bowl? I will put it in the bowl. Very nice. Very oh, good. Perfect. That. Now it will not die. Nope, it will not die. Nope. And I will call it mm, not splasher. Not splasher. Nope. But do you want to hear a joke? I would love to hear a joke. Why do sharks not eat clownfish? Hmm. hmm? Why? Because they taste funny. Funny ah! like a clown. <laughs> Pastor Crystal isn't the only one to tell Ooh. jokes around here. Marvin's got jokes. Yeah, I do. <laughs> Let's watch the story. Or Let's listen watch. Listen to someone teaching about it or something. Yeah. Let's do that. Okay. See you later, kids. All right, guys, it is time to listen to our Bible lesson. So let's sit down, let's grab our Bible, let's get cozy and get our listening ears on. Let's go. Happy Easter, boys and girls. We are so excited you have joined us today. And yes, of course, I have a joke for you. Are you ready? What did the big flower say to the little flower? What did the big flower 
say to the little flower? Hi, bud. Oh, I love spring. I love flowers. What a good joke. Did you guys know Easter is only a few weeks away? We wanted to spend some time celebrating Jesus. We are going to learn about some ordinary people who had extraordinary encounters with Jesus. Each story will help us see more of who Jesus is and why he came. Today, we're gonna to learn about two amazing stories. So let's open our Bibles to see what the book of Luke says. Marvin is gonna read it for us. Hi kids, it's me Marvin again, and I'm here to read the Bible with you. Can you find your Bibles and open it up to Luke 7, verses 11 to 16? Sometime later, Jesus went to a town called Nain. His disciples and a large crowd went with him. He approached the town gate but just then, a dead person was being carried out. He was the only son of his mother. She was a widow. A large crowd from the town was with her. When the Lord saw her, he felt sorry for her. So he said, don't cry. Then he went up and he touched the coffin. Those who were carrying it stood still. Jesus said, young man, I say to you, get up. The dead man sat up and began to talk. Then Jesus gave him back to his mother. The people were filled with amazement and wonder and they praised God. A great prophet has appeared among us. They said, God has come to help his people. Thanks, Marvin. Our story kind of starts out sad. Why were they sad, you may be asking? Well, let's look at our Bible to find out. In Luke chapter 7, verse 12, it says, He approached the town gate. Just then, a dead person was being carried out. He was the only son of his mother. She was a widow. A large crowd from the town was with her. The people were sad because the woman had lost her only son. When Jesus saw this woman, he felt compassion for her. That means he felt her pain and he wanted to do something to help her. Wait, what? Jesus cares for people? Heck yes, he does. Now, if it were me, I'd send flowers or maybe a card. But Jesus did something absolutely amazing. Jesus said, get up. Remember, this boy was dead. But when Jesus gave the command to get up, he gets up and walks. Can you imagine seeing this? By just giving the command, Jesus raises the boy from the dead and brings him back to life. This reminds me of our big idea. Jesus has power over death. This also reminds me of another time when Jesus raised someone from the dead. Do you guys know who I'm talking about? It was a guy. Shout it out. That's right. His name was Lazarus. Okay, let's take a second to watch a video. Keep a special aisle for what Jesus says to Martha. Jesus and Lazarus were friends. Lazarus lived in the town of Bethany in Judea with his sisters Mary and Martha. One day, Lazarus got sick. Mary and Martha sent a message to Jesus. Lord, your friend Lazarus is sick, they said. Jesus told his disciples, Lazarus' sickness will not end in death. The sickness 
will bring glory to God and to the Son of God. Jesus stayed where he was for two more days. Then Jesus said, let's go back to Judea. By the time Jesus arrived in Bethany, Lazarus had been in a tomb for four days. Martha hurried to meet Jesus, but Mary stayed home. Martha said, Lord, if you had been here, my brother wouldn't have died. Martha knew Jesus could do a miracle though. I know God will give you whatever you ask, she said. Jesus replied, your brother will rise again. Martha believed that Lazarus would rise from the dead in the future, on the last day. But Jesus said, I am the resurrection and the life. The one who believes in me, even if he dies, will live. Everyone who lives and believes in me will never die, ever. Do you believe this? Yes, Lord, Martha said. I believe you are the Messiah, the Son of God. Martha went back to the house. She told Mary that Jesus wanted to see her. So Martha left the house and all the people who had come to comfort Mary and Martha followed her. Mary fell at Jesus' feet and said, Lord, if you had been here, my brother would not have died. Mary was crying and Jesus wept too. Mary led Jesus to the tomb where Lazarus was buried. It was a cave and a huge stone covered the opening. Remove the stone, Jesus said. So the stone was moved aside. Jesus looked up and said, Father, I thank you that you heard me. Then Jesus shouted, Lazarus, come out. Lazarus came out of the tomb, wrapped in linen and cloth. Jesus said, unwrap him and let him go. When Jesus raised Lazarus from the dead, he showed that he has power over death. Jesus said, I am the resurrection and the life. Jesus died on the cross for our sin and rose from the dead. He gives eternal life to those who trust in him. Welcome back, boys and girls. So did you catch it? What amazing thing did Jesus say to Martha? Jesus said to her, I am the resurrection and the life. He who believes in me will live even though he dies. What do you think this means? I think it means that Jesus has power over death, that anyone who believes in him can have eternal life. As we get closer to Easter, this story reminds me of the life of Jesus. The mother in our story had a son who died. Everything seemed lost, but by Jesus' power, he brought the boy back to life. Does this remind you of anything? God gave his one and only son, Jesus, to die on the cross. And when it seemed everything was lost, he showed us again that he has power over death. He rose from the grave and Jesus conquered death so that you and I could be with him forever in heaven. As we get ready to celebrate Easter, remember that Jesus has power over death. Happy Easter again, you guys. All right, that's all I have for you today. And bye for now. Hey guys, it is time for our March memory verse and it comes from 1 Peter 1, 3. It says, give praise to the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. In his great mercy, he has given us a new birth and a living hope. This hope is living because Jesus Christ rose from the dead. That comes from 1 Peter 1, 3. Let's read it one more time together. Give praise to the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. In his great mercy, he has given us a new birth and a living hope. This hope is living because Jesus Christ rose from the dead. That comes from 1 Peter 1, 3.
one called Savior. Have you heard of his perfect love? Have you heard of the one in heaven? Have you heard how he gave his son? Cause I have found this love. I believe in the sun. Show me. Awesome, guys. I'm so glad you came to join us. I had a great time. I hope you had a great time. And let's just remember what our big idea is, and that is that Jesus has power over death. All right, let's pray. God, I thank you for giving us your one and only son, that he has power over death, and that we get to serve such an amazing God. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, guys, I hope you have a great week. Don't forget to pause and go through the discussion questions together, and I'll see you next time. Bye. I have a last minute announcement that I just need to sneak in here really quick. Things change around here super fast. We have some crazy exciting news for anyone who has a kid from grade one to grade five. We will be hosting a spring break camp. How amazing is that? Of course, we will be abiding by all the current health guidelines. Registration will open early next week, so make sure you keep an eye on our Northview Kids Instagram, because space will be limited. Lastly, the camp cannot run without help from you, our community. If you are available to volunteer or have a middle schooler or high school child who would like to help out, please head over to northview.org kids and fill out our Google form. The more leaders we have, the more kids we can welcome.